I'm just gonna clean up the sides a little bit right here. <laughs> My hair. No. So you're probably wearing a hat right now if you've accidentally cut off your hair recently and you're trying to grow it back out. I've done the same thing. Right now we've got the low cut shaved head. For some people that's a good look, some people like it. However, I prefer to have some hair on my head. If you're in the same position, I can't get through the awkward stage, the ugly stage. Be strong, my friends. Be strong. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys five tips to grow out your hair longer. You can't fast forward time. You can't just skip six months or a year and wake up and all of a sudden you have the hair that you wanted. And I'm gonna tell you guys some ways that can make the process seem a little bit easier. Let's go. You could look at me right now and say, well, this guy has no hair. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I've had long hair in the past. And yes, I messed up and shaved off my head and it sucks. I know because everybody has to go through this process where you just don't know what to do with your hair. But if you want to speed up the process, these tips are going to help. And if you guys are here just for the hair video, you want to know how to grow out your hair longer, you should stick around because my channel is really cool. We've got technology reviews. I do giveaways every month and we have a really good community full of a bunch of really nice people who leave comments and it's, it's more like a family so yeah, and you could also see my transformation over the next six months to a year because I've already made up my mind 100% that I am going to grow it out. So the first thing is keeping track of your growth. A lot of people kind of just skip over this because they think, all right, well, I wake up every day, look in the mirror, my hair is not long yet. And that can make you kind of give up hope when you're getting to a certain point. And you're like, I'm just going to cut it off right now. So if you take a picture of yourself every three or four days, that way, like when a month or two goes by, you can just scroll back and be like, wow, look how much my hair has already grown. And and then you could kind of mentally think, okay, well, if that was two months, where am I gonna be at in four months? Where am I gonna be at in six months? So I personally find it pretty helpful to just keep track of your growth, take pictures, and then guess what? There's tons of people out there that wanna know what a man's hair cycle is like when it starts from scratch and to the end. So if you take pictures every couple of days just to show people your growth, it'll more than likely get a lot of views and you could become a YouTube star. Second of all, no cutting it yourself. I repeat, no cutting it yourself. A lot of times people are growing out their hair and they're like, you know what, let me just save some money, forget about the barber, forget about the stylist and what ends up happening, you might go a little bit too high and the next thing you know, you're back to square one. So in order to avoid going back to square one, just take the extra little 20 bucks, maybe once a month, hit up a stylist, tell them you wanna get it cleaned on the bottoms and the back but you're trying to grow out your hair. Make sure they know that you're trying to grow out your hair and you don't want them taking a lot off the top. Trust me when I tell you this, I know because of experience, I've done this to myself plenty of times. I've sabotaged my own hair growth when I say I'm gonna grow out my hair long and then I try to just cut a corner, do it myself, mess up, and then you're stuck, square one. Don't do that to yourself. Number three, supplements and water. Good combination, you should be taking stuff like that anyways for your own health benefits, but if you're trying to grow out your hair faster, they have a supplement called Biotin. They have tons of different brands. You just find whichever one works for you. Once you start taking Biotin, and it's gonna speed up the process of your nails growing and also of your hair. So I don't know if you're going for like the full on drag queen look, maybe you are, that's fine. But in my case, I'll take the biotin, cut my nails a little bit more often than usual, but it's gonna speed up the hair growth process. So that's something to take into consideration and also keeping your body hydrated. Everything grows with water. You wanna get that Chia Pet growing. Number four, they have shampoos and conditioners that are made to help stimulate your hair and make it grow a little bit faster. Faster. And also you can look into having like some oils because they say it's good to keep your hair oiled, keep it healthy. You don't want to have a lot of split ends or, or breakage. And especially if you have short hair like this, you don't want to have like a flaking scalp where it's dry because people are going to notice that the shorter that your hair is. So you want to take care of that and keep yourself in check. And number five, the most important tip that I can give you guys is you have to be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. See, the problem is when you watch these time-lapse videos, you see somebody's transformation in like one minute and you think you're yourself, well, damn, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transform and I'm going to have this hair in like one or two months. And it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. So keep it in your mind. There is going to be times that you're tempted and you're going to want to cut it and get a nice clean style. But if you're really trying to grow out your hair long, you have to have patience to do it. And if you don't have patience, you could take one moment of weakness and screw up six 
months worth of progress. Whenever you're thinking about getting a haircut, just keep in mind what it was that you wanted to get initially. Yes, it might not look the way you want it to at the moment, but here's the thing. Go to somebody who knows what they're talking about, somebody that knows the process of growing out hair and say to them, hey, this is what I'm going for. I want it to be this long. How can we make this look good during the process? I typically wouldn't do this, but seeing as I shaved off my own hair by accident, it was a mistake. Yeah. It happens, life goes on. I have a short haircut for a while. I'll live with it. It's not gonna kill me. It's not the end of the world. I upload three or four videos per week so people constantly see my appearance and I think it'll be worth it in the end. Let's face it, Vikings are cool. Jesus was cool. Duck Dynasty, okay, maybe not so cool, but you can keep your hair styled so that it is cool. So good luck on your growth. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.